These are like the three worst classes right now. <laughs> um. Yeah, these are actually the three worst classes by win rate. Um, Warrior is the one I would probably like to play the most, and it's also the it's also number seven as opposed to eight and nine. So we will do Warrior then. I don't know if this is better than Chemist, actually. People like picking this card because it's a win condition, but... It's n it's probably weaker than Chemist, honestly. It sucks that we had to miss a... I know a guy, but... Why don't you just bend the knee to you? Why not? Like, the thing about, like, Hero of the Storms, like... Honestly, like, they made a really good game. It was just... Well, they, they screwed up, like, the early marketing, you know? And that's a pretty big deal. But also... Card actually is a higher win rate. Okay. I feel like four drops are just easy to find, and that might be part of it. Can we just play Battlegrounds with this card? That'd be great. But uh, anyway, what was I saying? Um, they screwed up the early marketing, and also um, they were just so late to market, you know? Like, here's a storm literally launched like four years too late, so... <laughs> Which is one of the things that they kind of fixed, because... Um... You can tell, like, I mean, they, like, I don't want to say they rushed it out because it's, it's a good game. Like, it's not like it, it wouldn't, from playing it, you wouldn't feel like it was rushed out, but like, they really put resources in to make sure they could get Battlegrounds out as soon as possible. Because even though they're, it's reactive, they were able to do it really fast, relatively speaking, you know. Blood Razor is so good. I think we'll take this one. Yeah, Noah guy is really good. Um, card is so bad. Um, I mean, it's not that bad, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You don't see anything, chat. Oh, I like Corpse Razor. I like Revenge too, but I like um I like this, but this card is not a card I skip right now. We're gonna be at the point where we're gonna need healing if we take this. I think we just take it because it's like really good. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we need do we need healing this much? We might actually. Uh, I don't know. We need five drops too. Because we don't have a real five drop yet. We can play this with Menagerie Magician. For the sickest combo ever. I seriously skipped the explore there. Uh, I'm, I might have. I must have just not seen something. My my mistake. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing: is like, I mean, maybe I've never because I haven't played like a, a million hours of Dota or League. Like the whole laning thing like just doesn't seem that compelling to me just in general you know like the the idea that like you know like last hitting creeps like that just doesn't seem like a thing to build a game off of you know like 
like i know that that's not the entire game but like is that like is that really gonna be like because that's what hots did is they removed that it's like is that really like that's gonna be the thing that is what makes your game better is the fact that you're trying to like do something that doesn't even make sense intuitively you know and an unintuitive gameplay mechanic is why your game is better than another game. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, this two drop situation is a little bad. I actually do have fireflies. This might be good though. I think we just need this. We need this too, actually, if we're being honest. Because we have no value either. This must be why Warrior is not good. I think we need the two, but... Man, this is a good card here. Yeah. Problem is I don't want this because I just feel like it's not that good with what we have right now. But I don't want a ten drop either. But it is an ultra source, so and it is golden. <laughs> okay, this is too much. <laughs> this is definitely too much. Because it is. Hmm. I think this is not necessary. Play this with Fool's Bane, it's not even that good. Fine. Explorer is way better than Hatchling or Revenant. What was it up against? I mean. I don't think it's true because like explore is like discard a card from your hand where this is like an actual three drop. I think we kind of want a win condition and this is like kind of a win condition. This is probably the slightly better card. Okay. Um. At least we uh, we didn't end up too light. We took a lot of the lighter cards and we still ended up heavy enough. So at least we didn't get punished that way. Explores a legit late game card. I don't think this is a meta where late game cards are relevant. It's, I mean, based off of my experience has been the issue. Where, I mean, I would also contest against that point but even if i grant that point i would still say like it's probably not worth it <laughs> because um you have to be in a really freaking slow meta before explore becomes a good card for value reasons and if because explore discards a card from your hand immediately and even if you imagine like if it's that slow of a meta that explorer is a good card for that reason then why the hell didn't you just draft your depths why the hell didn't you just draft your deck super slow you know so it's like either way it just doesn't that's that's why ex that exactly is why explorer is just not a good card in the game you know it's because either way like it could be good in a very specific situation but it it's just usually not 
In a situation where it's good is the exception, basically. He only has one mana. What now? Fire everything. like six to ten minutes. well the problem is is like i, I mean it's again like the point is is like it discards a card from your hand like you can't just imagine that it's a positive effect from a value perspective because it discards a card from your hand that's really the issue with it so like yeah you're making the average card in your deck slightly bigger when you play it right you're making the average card in your deck go from like four to five cost maybe but you're discarding a card from your hand to do that. So like, you need to expect like it takes like five turns before that card actually becomes positive, right? Like that's the, that's the issue with it. Because up until that point, it's just, ne it's just a strict negative. And it's like, that's why it's like, yeah, it's like, if you're in that grindy of a game, then it becomes positive. But, you know, otherwise, like, I mean, it would have been better to just have an Ultrasaur in most games, you know? Like, if you just need value, just pick an Ultrasaur. <laughs> you know, like, Ultrasaur is going to be better 90% of the time. Play this, we still get cleared by volcano. Ultrasaur gets removed. It doesn't get removed in this meta. saying my your perspective on explorer is different than mine i mean my i've actually played like a significant amount of explorer and guru constructed so i know how good the card is i'm very well informed on what the card is capable of and what it is on average so you might have just high rolled it a few times but i can tell you like it's just not very good on average <laughs> like and maybe it's slightly different in a different meta but like 
it's not good typically like yeah it's gonna be better than an average arena card but it's not not by a lot all Because you get a lot of crap off of it. You probably get a lot less crap than. I don't, actually, I don't even know that's true. Like, cards aren't that big on average right now either. Cards are actually smaller on average. It's probably actually worse in this meta than normal. Because cards are actually really small right now. You know, like. People are, like, pu pu putting all these, like, 9 drop, 9 mana, 6, 10 taunts in their deck. Because that's, like, a good card right now. I think cards are actually smaller than normal right now. Talking about 50 plus runs with Explorer. How do you get 50 runs with Explorer? In what meta was that? Because it could be like card pool related. Like, if you have a significantly different experience, then maybe it's card pool related, but like... Because I played it in certain card pools, right? Where it would be like the standard card pool, and maybe in different card pools it's different. Because the different, the average size of mains is significantly different, but like... I mean, like, as I'm saying, like, my, my average experience with it is not positive. You try it with warrior and you're disappointed because you're not discovering fireballs and flame strike. Well, that's kind of the point, right? This will go off first, so if we what now? if we hit here, this should actually be guaranteed to snipe that. Sounds good. The animation went in the opposite order, but I didn't. Was it different because um, I killed it first? Because the animation made it look like it was the different way, so maybe it didn't work that way because of the way um, I don't know. Maybe it was because of the way that I actually used the weapon. Because the weapon kills it first, and then and then the death row goes off. Yeah, but it probably wasn't guaranteed. Yeah.
So like, here's the thing, you're saying Shady liked it. I, I probably I probably saw him like use it too, but like I would imagine, like, especially if it's recent, like he likes it in its bucket is what it means. You know? Where it doesn't mean it's a good card, it means it's better than Stone Tusk War. You know? And those are two very different things. You would mention every game why he likes it. At best, like, like I'm, it's at best it's a very sp it's a very meta specific card is the point. You know, it's like maybe he likes playing it for a very specific meta for a very specific reason. It's just not. It's a good win condition in deck to learn wise and scribe. Yeah, it's like it's a card you could draft around theoretically, right? Like, it's not a card that. It's a suboptimal win condition in a deck that doesn't have a win condition, you know? Like, that's what it is, right? So. Kind of an issue. Because we can't kill both of these, and we need to kill both of them. We also can't really push enough damage to actually threaten him. And the only real question is whether or not we kill this, but probably shouldn't, right? Actually drew all to sword. Oh no, that was just his card, never mind. That wasn't a 10 drop. Natural. Guess we just lose, huh?
We're never getting five damage in. Nine damage. In. I played how many healing cards? <laughs> Three? Never ultra sore baby rich. Easy game. Here's another, uh, Elemental you can swing at. It's a problem. Oh my god. Now we can't even high roll the Divine Shield here. We have to get health. Yeah, that's okay too. He just want face. Nice. Kill the penguin. Nice. Right. We we killed him. Pita, D face. What the hell? <laughs> this guy just drafted like he just picked all the smallest cards. I like it actually. Paladins right. don't have great initiative right now. That's the one thing they don't have. So this thing probably just will screw him over. We'll see. Holy shit. His average card right now is like less than one mana. Almost. By less than one, I mean like 1.3, but still. The hell is even going on right now? Guess I'll trade in case he has like adapt or whatever the hell. Level up. It's gonna be level up, isn't it? It's always level up. And I'm like triggered from when I lost the game to a level up earlier. This guy actually drafted a meme deck, didn't he? Like, <laughs> he must have actually just drafted the lowest cost card or something. I really won an elemental before. Well, I actually already played the Firefly. Do I have any other elementals? I have a Tar Lord. That's it, right? Oh, I have a Volatile Elemental. Yeah, okay, fine. Put your card, actually. 
sure. Do we? I feel bad, but I don't. Because I kind of want to do this, and then maybe we actually play this. Fine, I guess. Mushroom power. Only she is a card that costs more than two mana. That is kind of crazy. Imagine drafting a card that costs more than two. Oh my god! He just got faced. <laughs> Bro. Okay. This guy. This guy is um. This guy is a madman. I kind of want this to get buffed. I mean, you have to respect him, right? He won a game, though. He has a pretty good deck, actually. <laughs> Pretty good when you can say, well, Seal Light's not a great card, but like, yeah, I mean, it's just Paladin things in this meta, you know. It's actually got buff. I should have traded differently so I didn't have to do and So that was the moment that he realized it was over. Interesting. Yeah. I, I mean, you're right. Conceding was definitely the optimal play. I mean, I think conceding was the optimal play for him on, like, turn four. But, yeah. Once we played the Blood Razor, that game was over. <laughs> so. Hmm. This is actually, uh... Seems like a decent opening. It seems like an even more decent opening. Death Rattle there to play around Coliseum. We don't we don't talk about that card in this channel. <laughs> not that anything bad has ever happened with that card. We 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 will not speak about it though. Nothing bad can happen if you don't talk about it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. As long as he doesn't have a dark bomb in his hand, we get we get a turn three Eddie. Yeah, mm. okay. sucks that he's gonna get to eat this, but what can we do? The bot reminded us, uh, be sure to check out my YouTube if you haven't already, and if you're, if you are so interested, subscribe, because, um, I'll actually, I'm about to pass the watch time that I need to hit partner on YouTube to be able to, like, monetize and stuff, but I need more subscribers to, for it, so... That's going to be my limiting factor. So anyone who subscribes will help us out a lot. Smiley face.
We can probably get the corpse razor on here. That's like good enough of a target too. And also it's good it would guarantee that we get a decent guys. I don't think there's much reason to trade right now. Like the reason to trade would be to protect this. But he's gonna want to trade because we have a we have a hook equipped, so our hook is gonna threaten it anyway. So the real reason to trade would be to prevent like some kind of a punish on board but there's no like the thing is, is like there's no dark iron dwarf and stuff like that that would normally be what you'd be playing around by trading not those cards just don't exist so the odds of really getting punished are virtually non-existent right now for this kind of a trade Madman free trades into us. <laughs> we lose a 4 2 Yeti and we get a 2 2 and a 4 5 Yeti back. Seems like a good deal. Okay, so next turn's the Abyssal, so it might be a good turn to swap our own, uh, swap this guy so that it doesn't die to Abyssal. We can actually just play this too. Huh. Doesn't matter, actually, because we get the stats back, so there's no real upside to this. To doing it first. <laughs> we can swap it back next turn to get the five damage back too. <laughs> I the master's Cast Arcane Miss? Aww, we were too slow. Unfortunate. Unlock. Going at someone with the real hero power? Unlucky. Yeah, I don't think we keep Enchanter. Decent draw, because I don't know that we want to play this one too.
Had enough of this polar bear express. Can I get off of this ride, please? We might be corpse razoring the Yeti again. I'd say there's a fair chance of it. The light does not discriminate. Dude, I actually got terrified when I heard the voice line that card. These cards, there's so many cards in this game that have like an effect on me. I'm just like, ah, ah. Oh, it, it didn't happen. That's still terrifying. I think we go for it, because next turn, if we play both of these, we ha will have this active. I don't know. The other play is to just Corpse Razor this, but if we just don't do anything, we're taking a million damage. That's kind of the issue I have with that, so... I don't like taking a million damage. Is this the best card ever printed? I think that might be the best card ever printed. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm not even gonna play the elemental because I don't want to give it a ping though. Need four funds. What is this mode? You need to attack for yourself. I don't know. I think this is the mode that when the game developers um, misclicked, they accidentally made this mode and yeah, that would basically be, that would basically be it. Because it's the same way that when you misclick going into battlegrounds, you accidentally go into arena, right? This is really awkward. I did not want to get cleared like that. So we kind of got punished for actually not playing the elemental last. What now? I'm warning you. I'm unstable. Surely we don't get completely snowballed on for doing this. It's getting hot in here. Our opponent does not seem to want to win. <laughs> well, alright. Unfortunately, we kind of lose this, but I mean, it's kind of worked out for us regardless, you know. And... I guess we take the damage anyway. The only benefit of going face here is really that you get the extra two face damage. You're forced to use the weapon, but yeah, it, it works out here. We have the swap. Yeah, like if the, but if you think about it, like it might have been better to just trade there, honestly. But never funny. Yeah, 
has so many premium spells. He has like a kind of mediocre deck overall, but he has like a lot of he has a lot of the premium tempo mage spells. Dude, there's actually like a very high chance we can get Ultra Sore with Respawn. <laughs> That's a very realistic thing. That's gonna happen. This game. And we can taunt it too. <laughs> I like it. What to do? What to we won't be able to do it if you can answer this, but there's no answers in the game right now, you know, so. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, we, we should probably just corpse raise the bog creeper though. It's kind of boring, so. Hmm. Yeah, just playing Ultrasaur is good enough, I think. Oh, that's a Lich King. Um. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a Lich King. Yeah, there's like no silence though, so let's just do this and um. I don't think I care about the face damage. There is some value in trading here, so. Not a lot, but there's a little bit. Actually, I forgot. This thing has respawn. There's actually no. There's actually not much value then. Holy crap. Yeah, I, I, I actually probably should have gone face, though. But, uh, it's okay. The thing is, Lich King dies on board, but Ultra Sword doesn't, so. He's gonna have 8 power on board. So, there's actually a legitimate reason to play Ultra Sword first. <laughs> Dude, this Ultra Sword card is so good. He, we played a 714, he responds with a 3-3. Three, three. I like it. Thinks he can ignore the Ultrasaur. Keck W. I think we need to do this, regardless of what we do here. I think we kind of need to play the Lich King too. trade with the old story he still kills the 8-8 so on board so feel like there's no reason to the reason to would be polymorph for top deck army of the dead it's a pretty good one actually <laughs>
God, that was so bad, actually. <laughs> I mean, at least we thinned out all the crap out of our deck, right? <laughs> those were like actually... By attack power, those were the four weakest cards in our deck. We have a Torn too, but yeah. Oh my god, we just got out. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I would have used that, but yeah, let's um, we'll set this up, I guess. You didn't get to do it, baby, Rich. <laughs> A lot of people are streaming Pokemon today. Garrosh versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Victory or death. I don't know if I should keep this actually. It might be better to toss that, honestly. We got the death bite though, that's just kinda of what I was looking for in the Mulligan. with coin this is it forces us to play dragon slayer and i kind of want to keep dragon slayer i don't know it's a little greedy but i could also just play hard gun there i guess you open up buff plays but yeah this is so fine, I think. I wonder. stupid. You don't really people don't really know what to do against a death fight. Just get completely wrecked. It's probably not the buff we wanted. I think the best buff probably would have been here. Or here. One of these two. We can trade if we want to. Probably don't. Double Defile, holy shit. <laughs> I was like, one Defile doesn't work, but two does. Yeah. That's, that's a thing.
He heals this thing and we mildly salty. I didn't realize this was a 9-7. I thought it was just a 7-5. Maybe I should just drop this. Eh. It's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We gotta get more value than a six mana nine seven. Obviously. It's an issue. I don't know. It was actually like really, really unlucky to get both the buffs on there. Because if we got the buffs anywhere else, it would have been so unbelievably good on board for us, you know. Just... You should just win the game if you can get two buffs out of a Gadgeteer. But it wasn't meant to be. We can still win, but we need to have a really good draw or two, and we need him to completely whiff. He's so comfortable he can just value trade because Okay. At least you can get a zero mana six six or something. We also don't have to play around Abyssal Enforcer. Our other loss was like this too, right? We just drew all of our top end. We we drew all the uh, this is it's the top here, but it's like we just drew all of our smallest crap and none of our big stuff. Same same thing, you know. Like we're trying to push him as hard as possible, and he's still feeling free to life tap because we can put absolutely no pressure on him. what it is, you know. If that draw was good, like, we could get, like, Kalamos or something to win, but we need to not miss that draw. I'd probably stay in the game for the 5% chance if it wasn't against a warlock, but against a warlock, there's no way you're winning in that situation. I should probably toss this, actually. Because we have two one-drops. I'm used to not having one-drops in Warrior, to be honest. But in this deck, I should, I should toss this to look for something better. But... I 
I don't think we can just go for the nine drop here. A little too greedy. I need something for next turn. So he would need a buff to really punish this base attack here. There's one buff in the game. Not it. There's a 2 mana 2 one that gives your minion plus 1 plus 1. That would be the really bad punish to us going face there. But other than that, like it's pretty safe I think. Could have also killed the, could have just killed the Murloc and left him the 2-3 and also made it so we would, it would keep our guy alive too. An option there. I didn't actually consider well enough. Yeah. I'm not sure that play would be better. I need a playable card here. Okay, at least that's playable. Gosh, this won't actually go off. I, I, I was about to think like this, the death row will go off, but it's not going to. I might still make this attack actually. I think so. Like we're gonna play all of this, all this stuff. I think we do want to pre-hit that. Such an awkward draw, man. Where did this guy was like trying to pressure us for some reason? I guess he can because he's Warlock, but it's like... like he, he, it feels like the way he's playing, he's trying to pressure us, where it's like if he just plays for board control, he would immediately win, but he's instead going for a win condition that doesn't... That is like a, not as guaranteed of a win, you know? <laughs> okay, he actually just... He just has no idea what he's doing. That's good. Okay.
kind of explains it, you know. Good old play minion into taunt play. I love it. The thing is, the only counter to this is like Abyssal Enforcer, but if you play the Abyssal Enforcer, he still dies. Yeah, so it's actually just fine. Further improve their win rate of Geist. I like it. Hmm. We got this six energy here. I don't know if we try to make this work somehow. It's just it doesn't work but on our curve, you know. This is actually okay because we're against the shaman, so they don't have a pink hero power. I don't know, curve wise what makes sense would be to do this. Okay. Bring out your dead. I undertake your PTSD, Pepe. Okay, you can have uh, mech warp or PTSD to counteract it. It shouldn't be that scary. There is, um... I think Maelstrom Portal is in the game. Maelstrom Portal would have sucked. But other than that, there's nothing, I think. I did not like that. He did not like Mech Warper. I'm willing to bet that this guy played during the uh, Rise of Mechs meta. Or he just plays Constructed where Mechs are also terrifying. One of those two. So he just doesn't have a good um basilisk target this way. <laughs> 
Hey dubs. How's everyone doing? Oh my god, that is a lot of uh A dubs wow emotes. Modified A dubs wow emotes. Need to shout out A dubs. Welcome everyone. How are you all doing? How are you doing? Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. How you doing? You see me ran too, right? You have not gone to the dark side. Are oh, those doing well? Yeah, I've been doing well. How have you been? Thanks, we are getting uh, kind of memed on though. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I guess we killed this. Kind of. What mm, it's fine. I was really hoping on this would get buffed, but you know. You can't get everything you want in life sometimes, you know? And clear with all mental. Playing with, if it was a 1 1, playing with the uh, death rattle weapon. Yeah. What is this title? Leader Warder turned casual? You never casual? I'm a hardcore casual. What does that mean? I don't know exactly what that means. It means something though. That's what that's what really matters, right? It just means that deep inside I miss the leaderboard. There used to be a leaderboard Pepe hands, but they never posted anymore. <laughs> Unless you're playing battlegrounds and then the leaderboard is uh, live, so you don't have to worry about that, but you know. Wow. Did we just get wrecked? I think we just got wrecked. Okay, we have a Violet Worm. And let's just chill. You can get number one in A with your average for this leaderboard. Well, come out in 2050. I I wouldn't be pessimistic. I think it'll come out by 2025, to be fair. But you're not wrong. Wait, does the guy really he 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 played this and then he totemed? Hmm. Okay. This guy is, um... He has next level plays, I see. Damn. We've been outplayed by that. I think we need this right now. Let's just do this. I might get rid of the totems actually. Shamans have a fair number of bad things they can do to you with totems actually, so. Let's prevent that. That's a card. <laughs> what the hell was that? As long as we just throw a million stats on board, he can't, um, Volcano us, kind of. Maybe. 
So if he wants the volcano, he can attack here and then two plus five, nine. Uh, he still doesn't even have a volcano with that. Uh, okay. Dude, that's a sick combo. Instead of costing, instead of costing one, it costs zero. That is sick. We don't actually believe the Do we want to play? Uh, we should play this. I kind of want to play Ultrasaur, but I also want to play this. We haven't got to activate that yet. Ooh. Well, infinite value versus Blaze. The card that's actually really good right now. I don't know. We can't, we can't not take infinite value, right? It could be anything. It could even be a Blaze Caller. Huh. Wasn't a blaze color, it's unlucky. We probably should have taken the blaze color. Do I have favorite classes in the meta right now? Not really, no. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't been playing all that much. I guess. Uh, let me look. I mean, I mean, generally, I like warlock. So I would say, like, my favorite class would be warlock. I haven't gotten to play it much recently, though. So, maybe next time we'll get offered Warlock. Let me check, like, I feel like I haven't played almost any Warlock, and I would auto-pick Warlock any time that's not against Paladin. And, yeah, I in my last, um, in my last, like, 12 or so runs, I've only played Warlock once. And I would pick it all again. Like I would pick it any time it was offered, unless it was against like, against paladins. So. I just haven't been offered warlock. It's unfortunate. Kind of hate mulliganing away blood razor. To be honest. Oh god. I forgot this card existed. Not like this. The true counter to warrior. Delaying the one value card you have in your deck. Delaying the draw. You can't win. Unlucky. He knows how to beat warriors. Having a uh, Death Spite and a Fool's Bane feel a bit spoiled all of a sudden. Tunnler confirmed OP. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe though. It, is, why is this? This guy's playing an on curve Kazakus. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we don't have much. We don't really have a play other than this. So, uh, surely we don't get completely 
annihilated here. We're gonna get completely annihilated here. It's gonna be unfortunate. The problem is we can't really play around it. We couldn't really have played around it, but he if he has the AoE off of that potion, he can just trade and then immediately use use the potion. He got a potion he didn't play. The thing is, is like my experience in arena is that a lot of people will not know what to do with the potion and like this is a clear situation where you should pick a five potion right and a lot of people will just pick the 10 potion because they're greedy you know so maybe he did that i don't know he might have just low rolled it though hmm Find the best card here. It sucks that we can't play it this turn though. We we could play this now, so maybe we actually do that instead. Just we kind of need to like. We definitely need to trade if we're gonna play that. I don't want to trade. Reading Omega Wall. He had the AoE potion, he just didn't use it. Okay. He had the best possible potion. He just didn't play it. He had he had the potion that would literally win him the game on the spot. <laughs> he just didn't play it. Okay, I mean, we don't complain. I guess we just take these, right? The hard game Hearthstone. Holy shit. Oh. This is what Fool's Bane is for. I must have never played against this breed of greed. Is this is this just how the game is? Is this just how the player base is now? Everyone is just um, unbelievably greedy priests with Eater of Secrets in their deck. The Eater of Secrets. Oh my God! Did we just get wrecked? We did. Uh, we actually just got completely wrecked, didn't we? Oh no. <laughs> Uh, you're talking about um you see if you if you know that you're gonna get this right then suddenly the optimal play becomes a lot different right not like this hey Alderis how you doing I'm just thinking how likely it is we die if we push this two damage here. Surely it never happens, right? Maybe you want to protect four two. I don't know. I want to. I like faith. I probably wouldn't make that face attack if. Basic and classic were in the game, especially when Mind Blast was in too, but not that you ever saw that in Arena, but Holy Fire is the concern, you know. <laughs> you 
I need to I need to sit in Adub's chat. I need to AFK in Adub's chat so I can like farm the Adub's oh wow TK emote. Uh, I can just get that every day. That actually looks pretty awesome. <laughs> It's a mage, so it's not so good. I think, let me see, what is the, um, what's the best modification I have? I have the Keck W thinking emote. I have that one. I guess all of the a lot of my emotes kind of work with with that <laughs> red beauty tips <laughs> Beast, Dragon, Murloc. Um, we have, we drew our beast. We have a Murloc. We have a beast here. And... It's probably better. If we're being honest, um... We just have if it's just gonna draw some Murloc a two three Murloc and maybe a Violet Worm, I don't know. If I could guarantee you would draw those two cards, I would pick it, but we already have a seven in our hand and we might just top Oh we have an ultra sword too. Uh, forgot about that. Yeah, maybe it was right. I don't know. Hi, man. See you around, Adams. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. We have a lot of weapons in our hand. seems like a good Fool's Bane to me. I see a lot of people not use Fool's Bane this way, but man, like, I like it. This guy thought he had a board Omega Wall. We theoretically have 12 base damage here too. Oh, 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 it's so good. Thanks for the follow to Lexus. Welcome. I don't like how we're um, not able to push damage here, but you know. It's kind of what Tower Creeper is good at. One sec. Just act. Wow, he's got kind of wrecked. <laughs> we can 
can always time rewinder it, I guess. This is not a, like I would like to push more damage than we're gonna push with this play, but it's like there's just not a great way. Unless you want to like play double weapon, it's, it's, it's really dumb, you know. Holy shit. So as long as one of these hits here, we can just death spite through. Seems like a good strategy. Probably good uh, hero power. Playing the elemental could do something, but also like he might just trade in somehow and hero power it anyways. This is two hero power targets, so it might be. Yeah, maybe we should just play it anyway. I also kind of want to hero power though, because we are kind of dying, you know. That's uh, interesting. I'm not sure how scared I should be of that. But we can um, we can just snipe that with the elemental now, so... I think we will do that, actually. Didn't expect that, did you, motherfucker? We had to pick this really early, and we really did not get much for this, did we? It's just the two big beasts, really. Oh, this guy got wrecked. Holy shit, that guy also got wrecked. Literally right after we play the Magician. <laughs> I like this. Imagine we play the huge dragon and we just get to uh, rewind it. No! Oh. I have an issue now. Oh. I say there's an issue. I see nothing. That thing back.
must protect the wild. Victory or death! Yeah, I don't think we keep any of this. It's just not great tempo plays, you know. Not on curve anyway, usually. Not when you don't have good setup for it. play the other one um you coin this and we don't draw anything it playable which we probably won't it would really suck so I sense your wow okay We get Death Spite, but I don't, I mean, I don't really want to remove a 2-4 a that badly, you know? So even though I think it would be slightly better on board right now, I'd rather um, save the removal for something more critical. That's a mistake. <laughs> this guy forgot that Blood Razor exists. That's just wrong anyway, because you should. You, he's just. Well, I guess he's assuming I'm going to trade here. But, like, you know, normally, like, this is the better trade for me. So you want to take damage on the guy that's the better trade, typically. But, yeah. I, he is assuming I'm going to attack here, so it's not quite that simple from his side, but yeah. If he was thinking about Blood Racer existing, I don't think he would have made that play. A good old hero power of return strategy. I like it. Oh shit. He actually pre-hit. Oh my god, we have a beast and a murloc here. Oh. Uh, I mean, I want a corpse razor, but I also want to set up the menagerie. <laughs> We can Corpse Razor the Bog Creeper, right? Since we're gonna buff, health is actually good. Otherwise, I would probably pick Poison here, I think. Oh my god, we can even time rewinder this. That's like next level memes, actually. He just he just hit the bird. Wow. He has no respect. That's why you get for having no respect, sir. No! He had a plan after all. Okay, we need to keep this Murloc alive until turn 11. 
in which case we can rewind keep this guy and this guy alive and then on turn 11 we rewind this and buff this plus ultra sword that is our plan though He's thinking about pre-hitting shit again. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Your greed is unmatched. That was a combo there. If we had 10 mana, we would have lethal actually. Our lethal would be death spite plus rewinder plus this. Since we don't, I think we just um Do this, this is fine. I know the dragon would be a little spooky, but we don't really have to care because he's Going to have no health. Don't need to kill the minion with six health when the hero has six health. Oh my god, we just got ripped. That was a drafted tree of life. What the hell was that? Well. <laughs> I mean, we could just rewind this, I guess. Probably will too, huh? Sure. Murloc and Dragon. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna Corpse Razor this. Yeah, the only thing is this is going to get really big, but, um... Oh, well. Behold the armies of Stormwind. Holy crap. <laughs> he got two spells. <laughs> Direct, sir. Nice too. It's like our bog creeper cube. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out. And a couple ads to use the restroom, so you guys are sick.
Yeah, easy smart pen, all right. Wait, does something happen? The, the viewer count is shot up. Okay, it's shot back down. Down. The viewer count is shot up by 25, and then just shot immediately back down. Am I missing something? It's probably like, usually when that happens, it means like someone like, auto hosted because like they disconnected midstream or something and then they immediately came back and then go on that's kind of weird though because that's happened before but it's usually what that means <laughs> you asked for it. Or death. and we actually found a game poggies we keep death spite here since we have a early gameplay. We did an emote and people left. Pepe hands. Not like this. Enter any driving people away. How are you doing, man? I usually wouldn't hit with the weapon, but since we have uh, two weapons in our hand, um, we probably can't get value out of all of them. Did I say two weapons? I meant three. Problem. In the best shade of my life. This is why snow triggers are really good card. There was literally nothing we could do about it. Now, like, all of our options are just gone. And he's gonna be one of those guys that just completely freezes your face with it. An arena streamer is still playing arena. Who would have thought that was possible? He went away for three weeks with no internet and came back and everything's changed. Yeah, it's, it's crazy how everything's changed, hasn't it? How you doing, artist? Yeah, we live in a different... A different land than we used to. The Hearthstone land. Unrecognizable.
character feels really snipey because like this, you would never you would never in a million years take this attack if you didn't know that your opponent had another weapon in their hand that's really really freaking sketchy This sucks that we have absolutely no play whatsoever here. It's an awful play, but it's just... We basically just lost the game to the snow chugger, because it's just... We needed to be getting value out of our weapon swings right and that one card prevented us from being able to do that that one card basically denied like three cards worth of value out of us so um you know that we can i mean surely he has a plan right i also played like i had a lot of weapons in hand i mean did i have another way to play i mean what do you, I mean, what do you even mean? Because, like, I played the only way I was capable of playing. And, I mean, like, he froze... He was freezing our face from turn three because he played his snow choker on turn two and he was just he made no hesitation to just freeze our face on turn three and there was i there was no chance for me to have like there was no chance for me to have made like a tell for him to hey i should freeze his face there's a hundred percent just him like just doing it spontaneously by himself for whatever reason How's the job? The job's good. How am I finding this meta? I haven't played too much of this meta. I mean, it just feels like a, it's a pretty hardcore tempo meta because there's no, there's virtually no comeback in this meta, you know, so it's just you take board, you win. You don't take board, you lose. So. It's a good meta for me because having not been playing, like, I can just play it and like I don't feel like I'm missing anything, you know, like other metas like I would feel like man I don't really understand like how it works because I don't know exactly intricacies or whatever but in this meta it's like well I understand how to just take board, you know, that's all you need right now, so it makes it very simple. Dual class was pretty tempo. I think this meta is more tempo than dual class was. By a pretty mar by a pretty wide margin too.
It works that way? Really? Huh. Okay. Did yeah, nothing go to work that way? Oh, okay. Okay. Saying they didn't care about me before, but now that the new mode is out, it means even further down the list. I mean, the thing is, is like... Blizzard's been ignoring Arena for several months, and like... It wasn't super obvious exactly why, but I mean, given that they've been... Now that it's obvious, they've been developing the new mode, you know? And uh, it, it makes sense why, all of a sudden, you know? <laughs> You can see where their attention has been, essentially. So. It is what it is, you know. Okay, so normally you wanna you wanna hear part after attack, but not now. Now I think that would be suboptimal. We should probably actually push face. Huh? There's no silence. So like, what are you playing around? You're playing around like Polymorph Four, D Trade. That's about it. Polymorph or Meteor. You're not being out of those cards anyway. Not like this. Wait, was that? That wasn't his top deck, right? That was just in his hand. He was just not playing that. We might, if he has like one damage to board, like, what wouldn't have worked before was like something like a Twilight Flame Color, but now with that, if he just plays a Twilight Flame Color, we're dead. But there's nothing we can do about it, so we pretend like it doesn't exist. This hit is not as automatic. I think we still do it though. I need Ultrasaur. Problem is we can't play Ultrasaur and Hero Power in the same turn, but we did need Ultrasaur. Kind of. What? He gets the shift through Zeus with the top deck deck. Oh my god. Okay. Mm hmm. 
that's Shifter's Eris into. Oh. I didn't play around that. Yeah, um. Well, the problem is I didn't have the ability to play around that. I actually would have <laughs> if I had the ability to. <laughs> but I did not. 